Um, why don't you start with uh, what's going on with AlphaSense, keyword, natural language, or what you guys have going on today for research? Yeah, thanks, Brian. Um, so Matt Angrist, I've uh, been at AlphaSense now for uh, 11 years, so I've been able to see kind of the transformation of search on unstructured content. And so that's the, the idea. I worked at Bloomberg, CapIQ, Thompson before that, and very much structured quantitative information. Moving over to the Alfson side, I was able to see what you can do on the unstructured content out there and how you can make that very easily searchable and summarizable. Sum, summari summarizable. It's not right. um, and so the ability to be able to give users, analysts at hedge funds, at private equity firms, uh, bankers, the ability to search across hundreds of millions of documents in seconds by keyword and understand the context of their search and the intent of their search, allowing them to find that unique insight that would have taken them a day, two days, three days, now takes them 30 minutes or an hour. And so we've basically built this technology that allows them to go ahead and do that in a really easy way. Great. Your search capacity, like Evan talked about, with the massive content you have, with the relationships you have with research houses, seems like there's an interesting search and flywheel effect. Do you want to talk about how that works for you and how you think it's going to play out over time? And maybe since we're doing both public and private markets today on this panel, talk about what you're seeing in private equity uh, versus public. Yeah. And before I answer that, I, I want to point on something you guys kind of talked about there was Evan kind of saying that internal content isn't a big deal for, for them. And we hear from a lot of private equity firms that it is a big deal. But also, I think there are hedge funds out there that have a lot of private private internal content that they do want to search across. So things like they write notes on every CEO of public companies, or they have their own theses about companies, and they have one analyst that has a, has a bullish signal, one is bearish. They actually want to bring all of that together, be able to consolidate that, and search across it in a really smart way. And so these firms are trying to think, how can we utilize these disparate opinions and bring it all and allow our, our teams to say, who's the most bullish person at this company? about this stock. And that's been a really interesting thing to be able to work with these clients about on, on doing that. Uh, yeah. Great. And so uh, did you want to talk about the search? And yeah. I will. And then Karsh, uh, you know, I know he has plenty to say too. So Yeah. No. That, um, so basically, we uh, built a search technology from the ground up. And the whole idea when we first started was, let's build the search technology on top of unstructured content. And so little by little, the search got better. The content grew bigger. So when I first started there, we had uh, filings and transcripts. And that was it. Those are the only two content sets we had. We now have hundreds of millions of documents that range from earnings call transcripts to broker research. We actually have acquired two expert networks and now have an expert transcript library. And so the idea that we're able to search across all this content in a really smart way and understand the language. So you know, to give you an example, if an analyst were to say, I want to read about the you know, EV landscape, AlphaSense knows what the EV landscape means. It'll find things like electric vehicles or fuel cell or hybrid or battery powered. It knows the word landscape means market players, trends, strengths, weaknesses of that market, different factors that are going to impact that landscape, and it will out output the answer for you. And so we basically have built our, and this is fairly new, it's a gen search, we call it, and it's our chat GPT style search. But the beauty is that it runs across the content that these users know is highly credible and highly valuable. And it's not just the entire web. And we're also able to source back and show them the citation of where that information came from. We know we're dealing with clients that are every dollar or every decision they make can be millions of dollars. And so we need to make sure that they have the confidence that the tool is going to give them factual and correct answers. And so that's big, a big part of our search is the auditability back to the source. 